my soccer universe. Well, after the doomy gloomy video that I made two days ago, um, a lot more positive news coming in today. Most importantly, the Bundesliga is back. And I'm wearing Dortmund to kind of balance out the Bayern jerseys I have. And speaking of jerseys, the new West Schneider jersey is right here. So yeah, taking care of that one too. Uh, well, let's get to the news. 16th of May, Bundesliga is starting and one of the games is Dortmund Schalke. Yes, I'm more for Schalke in that one, but you know, I have a Dortmund jersey. It's still strange to me that I have more jerseys of, I have Bundesliga uh, jerseys of the, you know, the big two teams, but I don't have gotten around to the ones that I really like, because I haven't found any nice ones for reasonable prices, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah. We will. I will have a what to watch next week, unbelievably, and I probably will do. I have to do this week. We can have a what to watch for the Champions League classics, and yeah. So just in my head, getting along. Uh, it is really. We have most games. Five games. Saturday, three thirty. Then there are two. Uh, then there's one Saturday evening. Then there are two on Sunday, and then on Monday they have um, the. Bremen Frankfurt game, I think, or Bremen Leverkusen game. It is. So that's the uh, plan. And then they're gonna have regular scheduling. They have uh, twice they're planning to have midweek rounds. And once they have to do um, a leftover game. And I think that was Bremen Frankfurt. I'm not 100% uh, on that now. Bremen Frankfurt, yes. So yeah, they're also thinking that the DFB Pokal will be put in there. So yeah, uh, first things first, there has to be, uh, until the Bundesliga starts, all players have to be in quarantine and there have been very strict hygienic rules. And if you saw the picture of Kalu from Hertha, maybe I should have worn my Hertha jersey for that one. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I hope he got suspended for shaking players' hands and being present at a PCR test, which he shouldn't. So. Um, I really, 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 really hope that players are taking this a lot more seriously now and they all know that this is a suspended <laughs> sentence in, in, in any way. If there is one violation, uh, the government might shut it down again. But yeah, yesterday the government said, go ahead, we, you can play behind closed doors the way you said it, they are strict. Uh, hygienic concept behind it. I don't know yet how, what it will be. Um, if there is a positive test, but seemingly the, those players will be isolated, of course, the referees and so on will also be checked. Quite exciting, I, I would say, and we have Schalke Dortmund 3.30 on Saturday in a week from now, which is a big game. Um, I also, there's also rumors that the government in Great Britain is going to support the Premier League with their plan of playing at neutral venues and so on, but it still seems like it's very much in the air. Other leagues that are starting, we already know that Denmark, uh, Poland and Portugal are definitely thinking also around the Bundesliga, maybe a little bit later. Uh, the Bulgarian league starts on the 5th of June. So that is also uh, in a very, um, in, in a shortened format, uh, since they have two rounds in the um, base round and then, um, you know, in the regular season, if, if you like another playoff, they will not play 10 games, but five games. Maybe something that Austria should look into as well. Well, I'm not sure how that will run in Austria. Speaking of Austria, um, the government is not happy. They want to have, if there's a positive test, everyone needs that was in contact with the person is isolated. Um, there have been very positive talks. Uh, there were even signs that the Austrian league might be among the first, if not the first, to start up again. And then a week ago, the government said, no, uh, just isolating the player, although the ex of our uh, is not enough. Uh, it is not likely and all the, you know, that's the main scenario. I fear it might not happen. Uh, Switzerland at the end of May, they will decide whether they will be. And in the Netherlands, they already decided if there is no vaccine, there will only be a games behind closed doors uh, um, beginning of September rich probably with the new season so yeah we're gonna have soccer soon uh, I'm still not sure I mean in Germany they can prob probably probably do it they will finish with the 30th of June dead deadline if nothing interferes uh, but let's see how it will go 
Uh, soccer again. How good will it be? That is the uh, the that is what I'm not sure about. Also, you know, playing behind closed doors takes out any home field advantage more or less. Uh, then there's only travel. That doesn't. You know, everyone has to travel in anyway. So I am actually. I'm happy that we'll see something again, that I, I will have something to talk about. On the other side, I'm not so excited about the sight of empty stadiums, but let's see how it will go. I think Turkey also wants to start uh, early June, so let's see about that. Anyway, better news, better times ahead. I hope, I hope now we have to wait for La Liga and Serie A. La Liga is pushing hard uh, from Walda here, but I'm not quite sure. They're walking also close with the Gauga Gauga, but I'm I'm not sure how well it will go. Anyway, if you have any more info in any other leagues, oh yeah, Korea is also starting. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.